There's a look from high atop legendary Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx as coverage of Major League Baseball is ready to begin. Coming up, the pivotal game four of the World Series comes your way. Marcus Grissom makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Remain at 0-2. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Williams is right there, one down. Number 28 will stand in. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Decades, the great chipper Jones. And he waits on a changeup there and pulls it to fairly deep right field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Fred McGriff steps in now. Now a changeup, and this is hit on the ground to shortstop. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. And now Derek Jeter will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And a big swing there at a fastball. And he really got into it high and deep to left center field. Grissom is going to get there, however, as this ball just dies out there in Death Valley. Wade Boggs will be the batter. And he'll go after the second pitch of the inning as this is on the ground over to first. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Bernie Williams will step in now. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Nothing in the Yankee first. We'll head to the second at the stadium with no score. Javier Lopez will lead things off here. Well, here this time, but he's going to need to learn to work the corners better if he's going to succeed at this level. Now he waits back on the change there, and this is hit high and fairly deep out to left. And that is over the wall. Home run. Says that he waited, 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 and bang. Something. Jermaine Dye will stand. Swing and a shot toward right center. And he's got himself a base hit. He'll take the turn and head for second. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Andrew Jones digs in at the plate. Here's the 1-0. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And that ball is out of here. Well, they're starting to make it look awfully easy out there. Rafael Belliard will get his first cuts here. Swinging on the first pitch as he hits this one on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. You've got to keep your wits about you and finish off the inning strong. Boy, his location has really been an issue in the inning. That pitch is right down the middle. Throw in time at first for out number two. He's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here in the last two pitches. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom of the second. Braves lead this one three to nothing. Big Daddy Fielder will get his first opportunity now. 
Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw by Chipper, and there's one away. Number 45. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Justice is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Tony Martinez will stand in. Pitches in the first. He might want to vary his locations a bit. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. Belliard is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. The second time now as he looks at a called strike, it's nothing in one. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. This extra patience is the runner at first will get a head start on three and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. One hit, one left. Paul O'Neill will get his first shot at it here. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Mariano Duncan steps in now. A chance for Chipper at third. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Joe Girard will dig in here. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on the first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Here as he quickly finds himself down a strike, it's 0-1. Opposite field to left. Well, this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. So it's oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Down in order go the Yankees. They trail in this one. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Home now, the first pitch. Swing and a liner toward right center. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. Around first on his way to second now. He's not showing a whole lot of vulnerability so far. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Two run shot to straightaway center. Well, he's been cruising along till this point. And a good pitch there as this ball's popped high in the air out towards second base. Belliard will wait on it, and he will put it away to retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Through five innings, it's now a 3-2 ball game is so far. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first. A three-pitch inning. And the side is retired. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And out of here! This is what you expect when you make it to the post. work cut out for him now. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh. We're tied now with three apiece. Old stadium in the Bronx. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Won't get a decision in this one, but except for a few mistakes, he pitched pretty well here this evening. 
So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And a curveball swung on and missed, and a great call there as the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three to three. Number 30 will come in and pitch now. Jim Leyritz will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. A tough spot here for a right-handed pinch hitter coming in to face a right-hander on the mound. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Jim Leyritz will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Mariano Rivera will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. We'll try it again, three and two. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. And some trouble now in right field. Around first, heading for second now. And there's your go-ahead run standing on second base there with two away. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. And he is out at the plate. Trying to take the lead, but this game's going to remain deadlocked as the inning is over. Home half of the eighth coming up here in the Empire State, but before we get there, let's have a look at our play of the game so far. It came back in the sixth, courtesy of this home run. Get to a better state, State Farm. Since that pitcher out there has his full concentration on the play. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Grissom has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Yanks leave one. Still tied 3-3. Three to three. Jeff Blocker will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. The 1-0. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. The side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. And we are all tied at three apiece. Jeff Blocker will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. I think he needs to be taking cuts like that. He just needs to get out of base and not try to end it with one swing. And this will find the seam into right field, and there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second. Paul O'Neill will stand in, and you can bet that they'll be looking to induce the double play ball here with that winning run on second. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. And if you want to start building a fan base for yourself as a rookie here in this city, this would be a good time to do it. Drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk 